Are you tired of your old MacBook Pro's aging hardware? I'm talking optical drives, spinning hard drives. This one even had a failed GPU. Well, what if I told you that everything can be fixed like this? Get ready, because this might be the most insane MacBook Pro you've ever seen. Okay, wait a second. Was that a PCI card plugging into the optical drive of a unibody MacBook? You might be wondering what the heck is going on here. Well, for some background, DOS Dude one recently came in to show me his custom built mid 2012 17 inch MacBook Pro. And after we were done shooting that video, he ambushed me with a surprise build that I didn't know anything about. So okay, so this you? is this is a MacBook SSD in what looks like a PCI riser card? Yes, plug that in. What if I told you I could plug this PCI Express connector into oh, no. a MacBook? Are you gonna plug it in the DVD port? Absolutely. Oh no. So that is that? Yes, that is that. And it's in the, oh my gosh. Now it gets even better. <laughs> If we go over here to NVM Express, uh -huh. we've got an NVMe SSD in there running at a full four PCI Express lanes at five gigatrans per second. There's an NVMe SSD also inside the machine. Oh, just another one. Yeah. So this is already pretty crazy, but I have a feeling that you're probably wondering the same thing I was. Could you connect a GPU to this? That's the next thing I was gonna show you. You, you probably need a full ATX power supply. Let's check this out. With this oh adapter, right. we can connect ATX power in, oh. put the graphics card in here, Yeah. plug this in into here, and you've got yourself the world's best external graphics card solution ever. For a unibody MacBook. Yes. And wait, is this like, a full PCIe connection so you wouldn't have the loss of speed? Yes, it's full eight lanes. So like in a normal like Blackmagic eGPU, you you're lose stuff Thunder over Thunderbolt. Yeah, you're limited. This is direct PCIe straight to the CPU. My brain hurt. What in God's name am I looking at? There's three big old ribbons connected to this. This one is for the NVMe drive, which just connects straight to here and that runs all the way over here to where the Thunderbolt IC used to be. So we're using four PCIe lanes from what used to be Thunderbolt to run the NVMe drive. These two make up a set of eight lanes which connect here to where the original dedicated video chipset was. Oh, so you've removed the DGPU. And there's a custom PCB here that breaks it out into two connectors that connect to this board. <sighs> And there's the same thing over here for the NVMe. So you have four SSDs. <laughs> oh my God. Without a doubt, this is the most insane MacBook Pro mod I've ever seen, and I can't wait to see it in action. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by ClearVPN, the VPN that I love using. ClearVPN, which comes from MacPaw, the creators of Clean My Mac, has been reworked for a streamlined, user-friendly experience that emphasizes the most important features. ClearVPN uses top-tier encryption and employs a strict no-log policy. ClearVPN believes that your data is private, so they offer a secure browsing module for free to all users. And this ensures that whether you're on your own private network or on a public network, your browsing stays private. ClearVPN is the VPN that I trust and that I love to use. Whether it's securing the browsing experience, changing your location, or accessing streaming services from anywhere in the world, ClearVPN has painless setup in seconds with the three main things you would wanna do right front and center when you open the app. It's simple, easy, and with plans starting at just $3.50 a month, it's affordable too. Plus, you can use promo code ELMIANI to save even more. Use that with the link in the description below and you can get three months for just $10. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to it. All right, so to set this all up, you just need the video card of your choice, preferably compatible with OS X. Just plug that in here. Your external PCIe 8-pin power. <laughs> Make sure your power supply is plugged into this. Oh, because it's got to draw power from the lane. And lastly, the best part, you take your 8 PCI Express lanes, 
plug that it right into so the ridiculous. side of your optical drive. That's ridiculous. Turn the power supply on. Oh my god, the f Everything- nothing here makes sense. That- that- the sound that it made, <laughs> it doesn't add up in my mind. Oh, there's the external monitor. So that signal is coming from the video card. So is it- log in. Is this monitor using integrated yes. and that's using dedicated? Yes, exactly. I see. When it's operating as intended, it runs at full X8, just like the stock video card did. Oh my goodness. So of course you can take your stuff and put it on the other display. You can make this your main display and then- Oh no! This doesn't make sense! It's hurting my mind! <laughs> it- you shouldn't- that doesn't make sense! It's a 1070 Ti- it's a desktop 1070 Ti, first yes. of all, on a laptop. So that alone is insane. With even the best GPU enclosures, anytime you're externalizing, your bandwidth goes Because PCIe, internal PCIe, just you just can't match that with an enclosure. But as I mentioned, this is all designed to go in a case. Right. So you put the power supply, this board, this board into a case, and you've got like an eGPU, but it plugs in here. Yeah, so at that point, you're just talking about a different looking plug, but it would still look like a regular eGPU. Yes. It would just be much faster. Exactly. You can buy this whole setup as a kit for $70 plus shipping. 70 bucks? Yeah, but That's the installation bad. is hard. Mm. It's the most difficult installation I think I've ever done of anything. Because mm. so. you do have to remove the graphics chip. Yeah. Does but it come bald? It does. Okay. But the the hardest part is there's about 32 0201 sized SMD capacitors that are between the PCIe, the, the chipset and the PCIe lanes of the oh, CPU. No. You have to take all of those off and replace them with straight through either wires or inductors. I wanna see what this thing looks like on the inside. Can we open it? Yes, definitely. Well, I can already see, I don't believe that those wires are factory. They are not. What in the world? Oh, they're under the speaker? Yep. Oh, is, that's for the Thunderbolt. Yep, that's where the Thunderbolt controller is. That is so cool. And it's it's a little socketed cable. Yep, you plug it in here and this part solders onto the BGA pads of the controller. And it's just, just like this one. So let me oh, get- Oh yeah, I can see it under there. That is so crazy. It's its own custom chip in place of the GPU, which was gonna fail anyway, because it's, it's a 2011, it's so already dead. it's not a great loss. That's why these are like the best ones to do this mod with, because what you lose in the GPU, you gain in like this sweet upgrade. Wow, you're literally stealing PCI from Apple and, and <laughs> using it for your own gain. Yes. It's a genius looking little board and yeah, it screws board right in exactly where, it, oh my God, it even has the wi place for the Wi-Fi to screw into it. The, oh, you had to cut off the other. I had to unbreeze the copper oh. in the bracket with a torch. It was fun. You, sir, are a talented man. <laughs> so which, where are the no longer present capacitors? Oh, right there. Those are them. Half of them. Oh my gosh. This is overwhelming. Okay, this is a ridiculously cool upgrade. I, there's no way I would ever be able to do this. Link below. If you've got the stones to do this, power to you. Here are the rest right here. Right, these guys. Uh, this is... That's power power for the NVMe SSD. Oh my God. I gotta go. <laughs> this is too much. That is really one of the most incredible logic boards I've ever seen. I know, like it's hardly a stock board. So how long did it take in total for this project? <sighs> I think like five hours of work. Only five hours? Yeah. And with that, Colin reassembled the MacBook so that we could see how it performs in a popular benchmark. Well, you definitely don't see 60 plus FPS with Intel integrated graphics or the original AMD cards that would have probably done like seven FPS, yeah. something like that. But here we are on a 17 inch MacBook Pro running Unigen Valley at 60 FPS. That's, <laughs> this is, this doesn't make sense. This, that, 
And this, it doesn't make sense. I mean, you could probably wire one of these PCIe's to a MagSafe thing and then get mags, have your box with your GPU that also has MagSafe. Yes, yes. That yeah. would be. So this is probably the most insane 17 inch MacBook Pro I've ever seen. And that's saying something because I recently saw a very insane 17 inch MacBook Pro. Check out that video if you wanna see what I'm talking about. Colin is gonna work on upgrading this 17 inch to also be a mid 2012. So it'll be a mid 2012 17 inch MacBook Pro with a GTX 1070 Ti over full PCI bandwidth. I, this is an insane project and I definitely recommend subscribing to DOS Dude's channel down below. It, unbelievable. I'm, I'm simply speechless and I almost knocked over the power supply, whoops. Definitely follow, definitely check his videos out down below. Big thanks to you guys for watching this video. I, I need to recuperate myself because I can't even talk. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.